How's it going, everyone? Uh, Zach here with quick 10-minute Sisu live tips. Uh, today, we want to talk about gamification. So gamification was a core feature of Sisu when we first rolled out. Uh, if you've ever used like Strava or some of the other apps, uh, your Apple Watch has it. They're really gamifying everything nowadays, and uh, sales should be no different. For example, I know we talk about exercise a lot, but there's a lot of applications here where, you know, if you are tracking all your performance, tracking your data, gamifying it and displaying it so that it looks nice visually, you can see your progress towards your goals, everything becomes a lot more motivating. So that is something, a core concept that we built into Sisu. Today, we're going to talk about two features that we have right now that we're using to push that. First is the leaderboards, and hopefully a lot of you have already seen that. Second is gamification um, and challenges. I should, I should specify challenges, which um, are, it's a new feature that we're just barely pushing out and it will allow you to assign point values and run specific challenges with your team and then incentivize them based on those point values or based on uh, what they've achieved. So um, let's get right into it. I will share my screen and show you guys uh, some of these features that we have rolling out. Let's just click here, share screen. Awesome. Okay, so um, this is the challenge leaderboard. We're actually gonna start, I'm um, gonna switch over to leaderboards. So hopefully you've seen this already. Uh, you can also access it from your dashboards uh, over on this side. We pull that up. If you come to your team dashboard and scroll all the way to the bottom, uh, you can see some leaderboards from uh, from your team. So we got units closed, month to date, year to date, um, and based on volume and units. So you can access that here. You can also pull up leaderboards from this side and dig into it and look at it for really any metric that your team is tracking. So you can look at who's the leader for contacts, uh, appointments, uh, appointment set, Anything you're tracking, you can you can log it, and then you can also look at you know monthly, year to date. Uh, you can break it down by month. So like right now, we're looking at August for appointments set. Uh, right now, a lot of you have probably already heard we have a listing contest going on with a lot of agents around here in Utah. And uh, the way that you access other leaderboards like that, and if you wanted to be added to another leaderboard, sometimes we do challenges you know, across states or across uh, different teams or brokerages. Uh, if you want to get together with another brokerage and run a contest or create your own leaderboard, we can do that for you. And the way it's going to pop up is just on this left side. You know, you'll see the team that you're a part of, but you can also pull up other teams. And right here, I'm going to pull it up. Uh, the 2018 listings challenge that we're running here in Utah has about 100 agents. Uh, they're competing based on listing sign. We got our leaders there. So, uh, good job to, to everyone we see here. Uh, Lee, Amanda, Blaine, Brett, Emma, they're all killing it. And uh, I think there's some really cool incentives on that challenge right now. So the, the purpose behind this all is let's keep it fun. Let's keep a leaderboard where you can see your own performance. You can compete against other people. Um, and it keeps everything really motivating. So if you have any questions about leaderboards, if you want to create a custom leaderboard uh, with another team or another brokerage or another agent that you are competing against, uh, shoot us an email or just you can contact us right in Messenger on Facebook. Uh, we will set that up for you and you can start competing today. Now, the other challenge or uh, feature that we're rolling out right now uh, that we're really excited about, this should be coming uh, as soon as today, the latest, the end of the week is our challenges. And Hopefully you've been seeing this at the top of your screen when you log into Sisu, uh, this challenge section. Uh, it's a new feature, like I said. And what we're doing is we're letting you set up challenges and then assigning point values to each of those challenges so that you can see leaders. Like if you look right now, uh, you'll see the challenge leaders. So these are the top three spots for people who have compete, or completed the most challenges and have won the most points off of those challenges. Uh, we also have a scoreboard here on the right side. Uh, and then you scroll down and you'll see what those challenges actually are. So you can see right here, uh, we have a signed units challenge running. 
Uh, it's going to run from August 1st all the way to August 31st. Uh, once again, the category that it's that the agents are competing on is signed units. Uh, and then there's some point values that are assigned to each of those. So as they compete in these challenges, they'll uh, win points and they'll pop up on the scoreboard up here at the top or the challenge leaders, uh, you know, they can take one of those top spots. And we can run that for anything. So we have assigned units challenge in August. Uh, this is a signed volume challenge uh, that's going for the entire year. And uh, obviously some higher point values associated there. So it's really taking all the metrics and whatever you wanna drive on your team. If you're low on contacts and you wanna motivate your team to get out there and start contacting, you can run those challenges. Now, once this is pushed live, which once again is gonna be either later today, sometime this week, you'll be able to come right in to admin um, you'll only be able to do this if you're an admin. It's, that's, the, that's what you have to be to set up a challenge on your team. So you come admin, uh, challenges, and now you're looking at the board where you'll be able to create a challenge. So say you want to do a uh, buyer's sign challenge and you're gonna do it in August or let's say September because that's the month that's coming up. Uh, categories, we're gonna choose um, so you could do buyer signed units or volume. So if you want them to push for bigger buyers, you do volume. If you just want them to get as many buyers as possible, you do units. So let's go with units for now. Um, we're going to select our team. So I'm going to choose my team that we're rolling it out on. Uh, now there's two challenge types. So the first is race, which has a first, second, and third. Uh, each value is going to be different. So if you take first, you're going to get more points. than if you take second, and then third is a little bit less, and then you know the rest don't get any points, they don't win the challenge. Um, the second type is everybody wins. So you can set a threshold, I'll show you. So I could say anyone who signs three buyers uh, in September is going to get the, the predefined point value, right? Um, and I could say, you know, once again, on, that's on count. Um, I'm gonna set the time period. Once again, it was month. And we're going to select September. Um, and then you can set to make it recurring. So if you wanted to do a recurring challenge, say, say you want your team to contact 500 leads every month. And you want to set up a recurring challenge so that everyone, every month that one of your agents contacts 500 leads, they get that point value because, you know, it's an everybody wins challenge. Uh, once they hit that, they get the points. So you could set that up that way. You could do a one-time thing. So maybe, you know, you're going into the winter months. You want to stock up your listing inventory. So you're going to run a listing challenge for the month of October, say. And, uh, you know, help drive different incentives on your team. Uh, maybe you have a lot of buyers signed, but not a lot of them are going through till closing. So you could set up a challenge, you know, based on that specific need that you have at that time, run it and then incentivize everyone with the points. And maybe you set it up on your team where whoever's in the top spot, I don't know, gets the corner office or however you wanna run it. Uh, once again, it's about what you wanna drive on your team and how you wanna keep things fun. So once you generate this, um, it will take, it takes a few minutes to pull in all the data, uh, give it a little time, check back. Uh, you'll be able to come to your challenges and uh, scroll down and you know, once again, you'll see uh, where those uh, where those challenges are and who's on top, and uh, those points will start pulling into your overall leaderboard. So, if you have any questions about leaderboards or challenges, feel free to reach out to our team. Uh, you, once again, you can contact us on Messenger here. Uh, our website has a chat box as well, so you can reach out there and uh, ask any questions you have. We're really excited about this. Uh, this was once again. A core concept of CC when we started was let's not only track data and pull analytics on it, let's motivate people by making it fun, by competing, having that competition, and uh, you know the the excitement that comes with you know seeing your name at the top of the leaderboard. So yeah, once again, reach out. Uh, thanks for joining, and uh, we'll be back next week with some more tips.